Are you sure there is enough light? It is plenty. I am accustomed to the darkness. As you wish. Let me get on with it. Today has already been very long, and my night is going to be even longer. Very well, Dr. Dawson. I cannot... Theobald will do. My apologies, Theobald. What you are asking me to do goes against the church. I am aware of that, Edmund. Or do you prefer Senior Church Warden Dawson? Edmund is fine. I see what you are doing, and it will not work. More faith gives me power over those who would seek to extort. I can see you are one of the good ones. I respect that. However, I just told you of my time in respect to how it was already spent. I just need your assurance that you will comply, and I will leave. No. You insignificant wretch! Have you already forgotten who healed you all those years ago? No, I have not, but the people elected me senior church warden. Me, and I will not forsake my vows. <laughs> Edmund, you old blind fool. I got you that position. How else do you think a poor nothing from Lock and Key Alley would have gained favor from the church? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> if it makes things better, you are not the only one. My master has saved a great number of poor men and put them in positions of minor power. I do not know what to say to all of this. Say you will make the copies of the parish accounts. Rest assured, you are not stealing, just sharing your records with us. What is it for? I do not understand what your type would do with information on how few shillings were paid out to a blacksmith, an apothecary, or a grave maker. My dear Edmund, we are especially interested in those figures. Theobald, the master, what is he planning? Now, now, I would not want to endanger you with knowledge of what is to come. Trust me, you will know soon enough. So, do we have a deal? How can I make a deal on nothing? Would you say that scar under your arm is nothing? No, it is not nothing. You saved me from a pestilence that would have been the most unbearable death. And I could not thank you enough for that. But I still do not mind. Lord, the plague? You're planning for the next plague? No. No. Behind every great plague is a great vision. You are mad with evil. So I have been told. Now understand this. The king, the wealthy, and even your precious church will see your kind as little more than kindling. The human fuel to feed the darkness. My plague doctors and I are the only hope this alley and many more like it have. How can I trust what you say? The devil speaks through you. <laughs> Maybe he does. But you do not have to trust me. You can trust the facts as they unfold around you. This will be the greatest plague to hit in 300 years. When spring comes, it will begin. And after the bills of mortality start showing the first plague deaths in 19 years, the lords will flee. You will see them implement major changes before they go. They will kill all the cats and dogs, lock the healthy up with the sick, and set up pest houses with unskilled nurses. Not long after the bells will stop tolling for the dead, for there will be so many that they would never stop ringing. There will be mass graves with nameless corpses overflowing and no one left to pray for them, let alone bury them. Now, Edmund, the comet on Christmas Eve I told you about was real, and I healed you like I said I would back in the autumn of 46. Why would I lie to you just to get copies of your daily accounts? You wouldn't. Now you see. If it's going to be that horrid of a sickness, how will I survive this time? 
I am glad you asked that, for I have a solution for you that will keep you out of death's path forever. All elements of Cybernocide are copyright 2019 by Atrium Dynamics, unless otherwise stated. Any duplication of this production without the secured written consent of Atrium Dynamics is strictly prohibited. Please visit Cybernocide.com for more details.